Things in brains are so small that they're actually smaller than the wavelength of light, which means that you can't actually use light to figure out when two cells are next to each other. So the only way you can actually see a connection in a brain is to use electron microscopy. The problem with electrons is they don't penetrate very deep into the tissue. So the first thing we had to figure out was how do we take a brain and slice it up into really thin pieces so that we could take a picture of each slice with an electron microscope and put all of those pictures back together inside a computer. So we have to make the samples really thin to use electron microscopy. And our slices are only 300 atoms thick. We didn't invent all of this, but people have known that you can take biological tissue, embed it in plastic. And once you have it as a piece of plastic, you can then take a knife and cut sections off that piece of plastic. Now, we can't use a regular knife because even a regular knife is much thicker than 30 nanometers. So we use a piece of diamond and sharpen it to a really fine point, to the point almost five atoms wide. And those sections, of course, are really flimsy, <laughs> and so you have to collect them. So what we do is we kind of float them on the surface of water, and then we have a conveyor belt that picks up the sections one after the other. And this is the part that we invented, and it turns out that when you build something as crude as this little conveyor belt, a little water bucket, you can now do uh, connectomics. <laughs>